Hello everybody, it's your girl D here, back again with another video. If you are brand new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, like the video. I appreciate you stopping by. And if you are not new to my channel, thank you for continuing to view my content. I appreciate you too. Leave a like on the video, leave a comment, share the video, do all the fun things. I'm coming at you today with a post review on this diamond painting that you're looking at. And this post review, this is what I do every time I complete a diamond painting or when I start a new one. But when I complete a diamond painting, I like to do a post review to tell you about my experience with the canvas and the diamond painting as a whole and with all the fun stuff like the gems and everything or the diamonds and whatnot. So this is my finish um, and this is the <laughs> the name and I have a hard time pronouncing that beautiful French language. I do not want to mess that up, but I know what it translates to in English. It is vase with daisies and poppies or vase with poppies and daisies. This is from the great artist Vincent van Gogh for Diamond Art Club. And this diamond painting is a 17 by 25 inches or 43 centimeters by 64 centimeters. There is a total of 41 colors in this diamond painting and there were four ABs. Now, let me get started. Let me just do a quick pan over and talk to you about the sun is out behind me and I have my, uh, my blinds open, so. But this is the painting as a whole, and I will tell you that my experience with this particular diamond painting was amazing. I just finished it today, a little bit earlier. Today is the 23rd of March. I started this diamond painting. I can't remember when I started. I started maybe um, a couple of weeks ago. I was on spring break when I started this painting, so that's why I got through this one very quickly. I was at home. So that's all I did every day was basically diamond paint and listen to music and listen to podcasts or, you know, books on tape or whatnot, um, audio books or what have you. Um, so that's what I did. And by the way, the, the, um, the diamonds are square. If I didn't say that, this is a square diamond painting. Now, four ABs. E, the ABs were everywhere. They're all over this table, as you can probably see them sparkling there, if the light is catching it. All over here in this green section right here in the background, ABs were there also. Continuing on, there were also ABs again. Background up here, ABs. Over here in this blue section, whoops, right here in this blue section, let me move it a little bit toward me. There were ABs there and again in the background. So, and also there was a few ABs in the daisies here. There were ABs, so all over. But my favorite part of this painting to do, also in the vase, there are ABs I believe in the vase too, but I love doing the table. The table, I got this done very, very quickly and it was um, a lot of fun to do. And those of you, when I that I will tell you this, when I diamond paint squares, I do the checkerboard method because I'm kind of anal about my gems, about my diamonds, and I want them to be straight, even though they won't be they I know all of them won't be perfectly straight, you know. But when you look at it in the background, you can't really tell, you know what I mean? But I do the checkerboard method, multi-place and squares, there that's when it gets crooked for me, so I like to do the checkerboard method, so that's what I do. Apart, I will tell you this, the, the drills in this diamond painting were amazing. Amazing. Chef's kiss bravo. Uh, they were wonderful. There were no stuck together drills. There was barely any trash at all. The ABs are like glass. I mean, they are gorgeous. Let me see if I can find one right quick. Like, this is uh, the AB 136. And there's a yellow one in there because there's one that got floated away <laughs> uh, when I was um, kidding up. But the, the ABs are like glass. They are absolutely gorgeous. Here's uh, another AB. This one was number 2, 129. If you can see that in the camera, they are 
absolutely stunning but yeah the drills were amazing they were like I said no problems at all with the drills no problems at all with this canvas it was rendered beautifully I mean the details are amazing in the poppies red's my favorite color so this part was my favorite part to do one of my favorite parts to do and this was also one of the parts that slowed me up was this section right here when i got up here that's when i started to slow down uh because i was like oh my god there's a lot of confetti throughout this canvas as well i mean it's all over and it's to be expected because it's a vincent van gogh and his paintings are very detailed so the details are amazing like i was saying in the poppies you can see the details in this different shading of the different shades of red in the poppies. And you can also see the shading. Also, it's obvious the shading is here in the vase and the different colors that were used in the vase turned out beautifully. And even in the table, you can't, you probably can't tell, but there's different colors in the table. Even like I said, you can really see those ABs there now. Um, and even there were ABs in, like I said, the background and even in the green vines right here that go down and then all the way up, there were some ABs there. This is another section that kind of slowed me down to all this green in these vines. I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get off of this. Not that I hated it. I was just like, oh man, I got to get over this hump. I cannot wait. So that part slowed me up. And like I said, this middle part up here really slowed me up, but yeah, this canvas, like I said, details are amazing. I just cannot get over the details. Even there um, in the daisies, uh, the details in the daisies are amazing. And when I pan out a little bit so you can see a little bit far, you can really see the details. But yeah, this one is gorgeous. I highly recommend this diamond painting here if you like still life, if you like flowers. This was perfect for spring. I was in the mood. So, yeah, I went ahead and did this one. And you guys know me. <laughs> I'm going to start a new one. I'm going to de-kit this one. I'm going to put this one up on my wall because I took down the light bearer. I think I'm going to put this up and on my wall over here where I diamond paint. And, um, yeah, I'm going to start another one. I got to think about what's another one I'm going to do. I do have one more vincent van gogh painting that i could do i have one more i believe yeah i think i have one more in my stash that i could do that i might do but it depends um it depends i will say this also i uh i did buy a diamond painting today i haven't bought a diamond painting in six months i was a good girl but i did break i did buy a diamond painting i will probably let you guys know what that diamond painting is when it gets here and I might do an unboxing or whatnot, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I, I did buy another diamond painting, but there will be more to come um, very, very soon. Cause like I said, I'm going to kit up something else. I'm just debating on what it is I want to kit up, what size and what I want to do. But yeah, I'm blabbling right now and I apologize, but back to the canvas. This is gorgeous. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the results. It's beautiful, lovely, gorgeous. And if you want to get this diamond painting from Diamond Art Club, depending on when you're watching this video, if you're watching this video right now in real time on this date, March 23rd, 2024, this diamond painting is currently sold out on Diamond Art Club. If you want to get this, you need to wait for a restock. Just put in your email address and Diamond Art Club will send you an email to let you know when this canvas is back in stock. Um, so yeah, depending on when you're watching this video. But yeah. That's all for today, my friends, that I want to say about this. And, um, yeah, again, thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching this video. Thank you so, 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 so much for your continued support. I really, really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys next time. I will see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day. And I will talk to you later. Bye.